What's going on guys? It's your boy Fox back in the house. I got my sword with me. <laughs> I'm happy. But this video is about Wellston, the prestigious school that our lovely cast of characters attend. And how it's going to totally and utterly be shut down. Let's get into it after this. So, as you guys know, my channel, uh, as of per this recording yesterday, has turned one years old. Has turned one year old. I feel like a proud papa. It's been a long year. It's been a crazy year. It's been a fun year. But with new year comes new change. Well, new year for the channel. It's not New Year's Eve yet, but you, 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 you get what I'm saying. It, don't, don't question me. <laughs> but it is time for new channel art, and it's also time for new banner and all that. So, by the time this video has dropped, all the channel art has been changed to my new stuff, along with a new intro and outro for all my non-unordinary videos. Well, the outro will be different too for unordinary videos, but the intro will be the same. If I ever change that, that'll probably be like a whole spectacle because I know y'all really love that intro, which I made by mistake, which I'm really happy about. <laughs> and actually, actually, I'll talk about that at the end. Stick to the end and I'll tell you about what I'm gonna do at the end of the videos from now on too. But, the I wanna talk about the new channel art and all that. The new channel art was made by none other than my lovely fiance. Uh, she has, her own business. She it's it's, it's starting off. She's take she's she trying we're trying to get she's trying to get more traffic and all that. And I wanted to shout her out on this video because it is amazing. My she is one of the most talented artists that I have ever met. And I'm not saying that because she, we are engaged. Even even when I met her in high school and I used to skip class to go see her see her in class to go see her. I always told her that her artwork was gorgeous. Like she needs to, you know, she needs to do something with it. And now, a few years later, <laughs> well, more than a few years later, it's been a while. She now has the tools uh, to do so. So, so I want, what I want y'all to do is I'm going to leave uh, this. Uh, I'm going to leave her Instagram and uh, all her necessary information in the description below. And I'm also going to show y'all here and all that uh, go to her Instagram and follow her and get the word out and on top of that if you if you or you know someone that is looking for a graphic design artist and and they do top-notch work then go ahead and forward uh, my fiance's uh, um, info and all that the the company the, the Instagram name is called intact by design I love it's a lovely name it's we're gonna make that a household name but go on there you'll see all the current work that she has done and I think probably by the time this video has dropped and all that the art the artwork for the channel for my channel art that she has done will be up as well um so yeah I just really wanted to shout her out um so make sure y'all go show her some love um if you love me then you you know but <laughs> love her because her artwork like I said is top notch and I'm not just saying that because we're engaged like I said she does really really good work like if I didn't know her and I saw her work I would pay top dollar but luckily for y'all she's a very reasonable person <laughs> so yes go follow intact by design if you if you have a uh, work that you want done or you know someone that is looking for a good uh, graphic design artist then send them to intact by design and you can uh, contact uh, her through through that and you know y'all have that talk I got nothing to do with that but getting on to the video about this getting on to the topic about this current video yes Wilson I feel is going to be shut down 
either by I don't know what point I don't know what, exactly how far we are to the end of the sto into the end of the series of Unordinary, but I would be shocked if the school did not get shut down like permanently or it got shut down for a little bit and it got reopened and rebuilt into something different because there is a lot of shadiness going on in school and I'm not talking about just you know John uh, dressing up as Joker going around beating up students indiscriminately and beating up the royals in public and all that have y'all not noticed that the staff is nowhere present like at all and then also do y'all not remember do y'all remember the exchange that the headmaster had with Keon because you because, you know, when Keon came back, he was checking in on John. And he was like, okay, now that John's fine, I'm taking Serafina. Because he was going to re do the same crap that he did to her that he did to John. And the headmaster was like, no, nah, that's not happening, bro. He's like, you're going to have to come with some with the big boys from up top top to uh, get her. And even then, that might not work. And Keon was shocked. He was, And, and, and the, the headmaster strong-armed him out of his bed. He was like, you're not doing anything else to my students. They said, if, if they haven't broken a law or anything, then we're done here. And by all rights, he should. Like, his main job is to protect his students. But we all know he just really wants to protect the reputation of Wilson and probably something else. Now, I don't know what it might... It, I don't know what it is exactly. I have... And as, as of this recording, I have not read any theories or know of any theories that might be out there pertaining to this topic. If they're out there, I don't know about them. So, you know, just th these are my thoughts that I that I feel that I've come up with originally. I don't know. I could be wrong. I probably am, but who cares? <laughs> so, when when the when the headmaster pretty much kicked uh, Keon and uh, the, his assistant, I can't remember her name. That struck me because even Keon was like, he's like, I, technically I have more authority than him, but he was acting like, you know, like head honcho, like not even, I'm not even talking about just because he's the headmaster of a uh, of prestigious school. He was acting like, like I signed your checks <laughs> or something. And Keon was like, I'll be back. And I was like, I bet he will. So I'm pretty sure that the headmaster is hiding something. Is he involved with Ember? Who knows? Maybe. Is he involved with uh, Serafina's older sister's company? Maybe. Maybe the, maybe they're Ember themselves. I don't know. That's another, that's another topic for another day. It's, I got a whole Ember discussion coming up probably after the season final is up because I want to make one, but whatever. So yeah, and then on top of that, the whole, the whole thing with John going around beating up the students and stuff, like I said, normally that's fine, but... I think Remy pointed this out in the, one of the chapters I cannot remember. Sorry if I sound like I'm getting sick or something. I think I am. I don't know. I'm going to try and get rid of it tonight. But anywho, the whole thing with the whole the whole reason everyone's so worried about Joker is mainly for the fact that he's not showing his face when he does these beat. One, he's doing the beatings indiscriminately. No one knows. So everyone feels like, oh, it could, he, they could just randomly be attacked. Then on top of that, he's not showing his face. So not only is someone running around beating up students, they're not, they, you don't know who they are. It could be your best friend. It could be the teacher. It could be the janitor. It could be the janitor's pet dog named Pookie. I don't, I don't know where I got that name from. <laughs> but it was Pookie the whole time. Pookie, why? <laughs> but I'm done. I'm sorry. <laughs> I know y'all hate it when I go on tangents, but I can't help it. I really can't. <laughs> That's just hilarious to me. But there, like I said, that, that and I feel like that in and of itself, and the fight that's going on now with all the royals and Joker and all that, I would be kind of shocked that that battle didn't get not not broadcast on the news, but like it didn't attract the attention of outside people. Like there's a lot of explosions going on over there. Maybe we should send a police officer to make sure because it looks like there's a bomb or some bombs going off over there. You feel me? So, yeah, and then on top of that, it's just like this, the headmaster is shady. And I don't mean like, and I mean shady like something's definitely, he's definitely hiding something. No one is going to tell me otherwise. That is, I'm pretty sure he's hiding something. And then on top of that, the whole thing with John. 
I don't know if every single last faculty member knows about John's complete record, but I know for a fact that the headmaster does because he's talked to John about this. Why was John not kept under better security? I don't even want to say surveillance because he's at the school. They, he, well, he was supposed to live there, but he didn't. And it was probably, it actually, I'm pretty sure the only reason he was allowed to not stay on campus was for the simple fact of his temperament and what he is capable of. If you, re if you remember reading his charts, it said, do not use ability around him because he can copy it. And then on top of that, he doesn't just copy it, he copies it and he amps it up times is two times his normal level. So most people don't know what to do with it, let alone are able to handle it. So yeah, if I was the headmaster, I'd have like, watch him. And if anyone seems like they are messing with him, you need to put a stop to it immediately. This is this is not a normal student. Yes, John. When John came there, he told he told the uh, headmaster he's like, I want to come in as a cripple. Which me and Ty talked about this. How does a cripple get into Wellston? Yes, there are low tiers, but they still have abilities. One, John, like I said, John's already at a, 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 a like eighty five percent disadvantage by coming in as a cripple. Two, his grades suck. If I was in a school, I'd be like, how in the world did he get in here? Like, let's be real. Wellston is known as the number one, as the toughest school in the area. Granted, we only know about, like, three schools. And one of them is the middle schools. So they don't count. And I can't think of um, the other school that they had the turf war with. That's the only schools we know of right now. But Wellston stands at the top of, as far as strength goes, in, the, in whatever area that they cover. They're known for being the best of the best. How is a cripple able to get in? That's what I, that'd have been my question. Like, how is that even possible? Let's be let's be perfectly real here. But not only, like I said, we're going back to the headmaster. I'm like, why was John not kept under better security? I'm like, make sure this boy stays happy. Cause John, like like he said in this paper, John decimated his in pretty much his whole entire class at, at New Boston by himself. What do you what are you gonna do with that? Now granted, I we don't know what the headmaster's ability is. It might he might be he might have some like crazy overpowered ability. I think you should if you're gonna be the headmaster of of these schools. You got you gotta be able to protect yourself and your faculty if it comes down to it. Now and this the like the whole thing is weird. Like not not keeping John happy just seems like you're you're literally waiting for something to pop off. You might as well hand it a loaded gun to a chimpanzee and, and you're really just hoping that it doesn't squeeze the trigger out of curiosity or something. You feel me? So I, I'm really, I'm like, I'm, pr I'm pretty sure that the school is going to get shut down. And not, if it gets shut, one of the ways it might get shut down is this. After this fight, the authorities come in because they're like, we heard a whole bunch of explosions. We see buildings falling apart. We see students all crowded up in one side of the building. What is going on? Until we figure out what is going on, the school is shut down. The headmaster is under investigation. And boom. Or some people have been predicting that Ember might roll up during the fight. And if they roll up, they're going to cause an even bigger mess. There's going to be students running out of the campus now, causing a panic in the streets. People are going to call the authorities and then they're going to see some some members of Ember are going to get arrested. Some of the students are going to get arrested. The headmaster and some of the faculty is getting arrested because they're like, what is going on here? Obviously, there's a whole bunch of crap going on at this school. We're shutting this down. We're going to get to the bottom of this. That That is, that is one of the predictions that might happen. There, there might be another way, but I, I can't think of it currently at this time. But yeah. I, I'm like, like for real talk, like, I am like, no, no cap, like, I'm like 90% sure that the school is going to get shut down. I feel like it might get shut down during the next season, that when it comes back in November and all that. Because th there's too much, there's too much going on. Uh, we don't know, uh, there's too many things uh, that we don't know. We don't know hardly a thing about Ember. We don't know anything about the headmaster. We don't know really anything that's going on with Layla and her company. I can't remember the name. Uh, we don't know anything about Next Gen. I feel like this this coming up season is going to be focused more on the world. Because I think, 
like right now in terms of like characters, I'm pretty sure we're good with the characters. Like most of them, everyone did get the everyone did not get the same amount of character development, but we got some development from pretty much all of them, and I'm good. But I need more more world building. If we're gonna focus on anything, I want to focus on what is going on in society and what is going on with Ember, and then we can cut to John and Seraphina's relationship because. By the end of this uh, chapter, uh, as per this recording, which is tomorrow, I'm pretty sure their friendship is going to be not not done, but it's going to be like severely, severely broken and, and like hanging on by a thread. Because there's no way Seraphine is not going to be upset by all this. Now that be it. That that is, but yeah, that is pretty much what I want to talk about. Um, if you have theories on it, uh, you can go to the Discord below and talk about it, or you can leave it on the comment sections below. Um, I'll try and get to it as best I can, but honestly, um, I try to stay away from other people's theories just so I'm not influenced uh, myself because I don't want to take credit for something someone else said and they might actually be right, you know, so you, you can send me your theories, but do so at your own risk. Just know that I might not read it because I might have a video topic coming up on it, but yeah, so once again, um, new channel, I have new channel art, new, uh, new logo, all that, new intro, outro. Um, if you want, like I said, the person that made it was my fiance, go to her Instagram, uh, in tech by design. I'll put that, I'll put that up on the screen and I'll leave a link for it and all that in the description. If you need, like, if you need artwork done for anything or you know someone that does, send, uh, send them, uh, her information and, you know, they can work it out or you and her can work it out because she's a very, very talented artist and trust me the art the artwork is top notch if you're looking if you see my new logo and all that you you know what i'm talking about but yeah so do the stuff that i normally tell you to do like comment subscribe hit that bell for notifications when i drop more videos join the discord server below we talk about more things than just unordinary but i know most of you come here for my unordinary content and all that. Also, if you like the shirt that I'm wearing, go check out my sponsor, kawaiiwaru.com. And if you decide you you see a hoodie or some socks or some stickers or whatever that you like, use my code kawaiiifox. It'll get you 10% off your next per off that current purchase and all that. But you know, with all that being said, I hope you all have a lovely night or day or wherever you stay. And it's your boy Fox.